fractions of amounts. A fraction shows you parts of a whole. The bottom number, the denominator, shows us how many parts we have all together. In this case, we have two equal parts. The top number, the numerator, tells us how many of those parts we have. So here we have one out of two parts, or one half. Here, the bottom number, or the denominator, shows us we have four equal parts. And the top number, the numerator, tells us how many out of those four we have, in this case three out of four, or three quarters. So, let's look for three quarters of eight. We'll start with our whole, and our denominator tells us it's been split into four equal pieces. And our whole amount is eight. So let's get eight counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. First thing we'll do is find out how many counters fit into one quarter. So let's split these counters equally into each quarter. Now we can see that one quarter of eight is two, but we need three quarters. So three quarters of eight equals six. To find four fifths of 15, our denominator tells us to split our whole into five equal pieces. And this time our whole amount is 15. So let's get 15 counters. And we'll split these 15 counters into our five equal pieces. making sure we put the same amount in each section. And now we can see that one fifth of 15 must be three, but we need four fifths. So if one fifth is three, two fifths will be six, three fifths will be nine, four fifths equals 12. So four fifths of 15 equals 12. Let's have another look at how we can work this out. So, our denominator tells us to split our whole into five pieces. We've got 15 counters altogether. So the first thing we did was split these counters into our five equal pieces. So we did 15 divided by five. Let's divide these 15 counters into our five equal pieces. And here we can say 15 divided by five is three because one-fifth of 15 equals three. But we need four-fifths, so we need to multiply three by four. And three times four is three, six, nine, 12. So four-fifths of 15 equals 12. 